In this video I'm going to show you Samsung Odyssey OLED G60 SD, G6, best settings. So first, for the best color accuracy and overall usability, here's what you'll want to set up. In SDR, use the Eco Picture mode. It's the most balanced right out of the box. Set brightness around 28. That should get you close to 160 nits which is a good target unless your room is really bright or really dim, then you can tweak it a little. For white balance, set red to zero, green to minus four, and blue to minus two to dial it into the 6500K standard. Stick to the native color space. If you ever need sRGB emulation for more standard color work, just set it to auto. For eye comfort, Use warm 2 for a slightly softer white balance, or turn on eye saver mode on low if you're planning long sessions. Always keep adaptive sync on for the smoothest gameplay and scrolling. If you want to fine tune a little more, you can set black equalizer to 5 and shadow detail to 0. Gamma's up to you depending on whether you want deeper shadows or a brighter look. Some people like adjusting it based on the game or app. When you're running HDR, still stick to eco mode. Push brightness to 50, which lets the monitor hit full HDR peak brightness. For peak brightness, medium is a nice balance setting, but if you really want punchy highlights, set it to high. HDR tone mapping is best left on static if you care about accuracy, but you can switch it to active if you want things a bit brighter and don't mind losing some precision. Keep the color space locked on native. Don't use auto or normal for HDR. It messes things up. If you want extra pop for movies or games, you can turn on contrast enhancer to high. Color saturation should be left at the default 25. A few other things to keep in mind. Turn logo brightness off if you want perfectly consistent brightness and color. But if you're worried about OLED burn-in, leaving it on low is a safer bet. Pixel refresh should stay on auto. It'll quietly clean up the panel every few hours of use. Set the off timer to off too, so the monitor doesn't randomly sleep when you're just waking up your PC.